Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to talk about my top 10 drugstore makeup must-haves. These are all, in my opinion, everybody has different opinions. We all like different products. Um, everybody's skin reacts to different products differently. So this is all about me and the top 10 products from the drugstore I think are absolute must-haves. Gotta have them. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so the first product, I really had a time trying to decide between these two products. Which one did I want to feature on this video? And I battled back and forth with the pros and the cons, and neither one of them have any cons. So, I'm just going to say we have a tie, and I'm just going to mention both. Um, so, the first product that I want to say is a good foundation from the drugstore. And these are my favorites. This is a newer one, so that's kind of why I didn't want to mention this one, but this is like a holy grail. I mean, this foundation, the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation, this is some great stuff. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. Um, and then the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. This last summer, this was my holy grail. This is my every single day foundation. Um, so, I really can't choose which one I think is better from the drugstore. Because I think they're equally wonderful. This one is fuller coverage. This is a thicker formula. This one's a little bit thinner. But, I mean, I don't know. There's no way that I can choose between these two. They are both just absolutely phenomenal drugstore foundations. Alright, the next product, and a couple of these products are going to be a no surprise. If you have been watching my channel since I started in October, some of these products you're going to be like, yep, I knew she was going to say that. Can't help it. Um, so the next one is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. Best highlight you will ever find at the drugstore. I'm telling you right now. This highlighter is just a absolute beautiful champagne color. Oh gosh, it's just soft. Hopefully that's going to show up. I don't feel like it did. Let's see. Let's see if I can get my hand to focus. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, this found I mean this highlighter it is so smooth and just creamy but it's a powder product oh god I love this if I could only use one highlight for the rest of my life that would be it hands down and this is extremely affordable I mean this is like four bucks or under so you know just saying all right the next product this is something I absolutely have to have I have to have this um if I don't have this product, there's no point in me putting makeup on. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. I do use different ones um, just because I do have a YouTube channel. So, that's my job is to use different brands of things. You know, try them out, test them out, you know, whatever. But this is my absolute favorite. I mean, I don't think anything's ever going to replace it. The Nivea Men Post Shave Balm for a makeup primer. I don't even, I mean, there's no words to describe this. I have an entire video on my channel, I can't talk this morning, dedicated to this product right here. This is, um, this is for men, you know, this is an aftershave balm. But when you put this on your face as a primer, your face feels ungodly moisturized. It's so cooling, you know, because it's supposed to be that way for aftershave. But your foundation clings to that, um, that shave balm and it doesn't move it doesn't move all day none not even the slightest micro bit this is wonderful for a fa um, face primer all right and the next product another i know you was going to say that the milani eyeshadow primer this is my absolute favorite to me if you don't use an eyeshadow primer um, and set it with a powder you know just like i said in a previous video your eyeshadow is not performing the best it can because you really, really, really need some kind of primer. It can be your concealer with powder, but if you're going to choose an eyeshadow primer, I highly recommend the Milani um, eyeshadow primer. It's like five, six dollars, something like that. It lasts forever. Um, is all the high end ones? Um, I mean, just do Milani. It's absolutely wonderful. Okay, the next product I'm going to mention, it's another one of those cases where I really just couldn't choose one of these. 
Um, because I kind of think you got to have both of these. So, maybe I should have made this a top 12, but we're just going to say top 10. Um, I just, I can't choose. Um, the e.l.f. bronzer palette. Whoops, I blinded y'all with my mirror. The e.l.f. bronzer palette and the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I mean, really, I don't... I just can't hardly choose because with this one, you really can't contour, you know, but maybe you don't want to contour. And if that's that, then then go for this. This smells like heaven. I mean, everybody on YouTube has said that this smells amazing. It smells like tropical paradise. We all know, but still, I have to smell it. I've used this product over a year now, and every time I still just have to go, because it smells so good. This is, to me, the perfect drugstore uh bronzer to like even to warm up your face you could contour with it but i like to warm up my face with it it's matte it's really really soft and it's just got a perfect finish um so i chose that one but i could not choose between that one and this one simply because the elf contour palette has four different shades so you know you have a variety for your skin type you can contour with it you can warm up your face you can use these as a um, transition shade there's just so much you can do with this bronzer palette and it's got the perfect matte bronzing shades for my skin tone anyway to use so those two are a big tie i just simply can't choose which one i think is better than the other <clears throat> okay oops next product um covergirl the super sizer if you haven't used this mascara you really don't know what you're missing um this is the best drugstore mascara in my opinion like i said ever um the wand is a little bit different it has a rubber wand let me sit that down it has a rubber wand has a rubber wand with these bristles and it's really weird because the bristles like they go up and around like you know what I'm saying like like this I guess that way when you put it on and you twirl it around it grabs every single lash now this mascara does great things it gives volume curls um mm, and adds length I just this is the first mascara that I ever fell in love with ever I absolutely like I recommend this to everyone that I've seen I just thought this was great now I have got a replacement now but the replacement that I have is very very similar to this it just does a little bit better with my lashes but when you when it comes to drugstore I do not think anything beats covergirl the super sizer for mascara it is just a great 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 mascara next product I'm gonna recommend um, there was really no debate about this you know uh when i was opening my drawers going through my products trying to decide um you know what products let's pull them all out pull my favorite drugstore products out and then we're going to narrow it down to a top 10 originally i was going to do a top five but there was just no way i could do that so we went with a top 10 um, but when i've seen this product i yanked it straight out and there was nothing you know like the bronzer i had two favorites and i couldn't choose and the foundation i had two but this one there was no there's no competition at all the cody airspun loose face powder and translucent this is amazing. I mean, it's just got so many different things you can do with it. You can set your face. You can bake with it. You can use it to set your eye primer. Um, it's just the perfect powder. It does have that scent, that old lady scent, but I love that scent. Like I said, it just makes me think of my memo. But this is like a huge um, thing of powder. This is 2.3 ounces. I mean, this is going to last you for a hot minute. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this absolutely cody airspun powder and the next one and i'm doing things in no specific order i should have said that at the beginning of this video this is no specific order we're not going like 10 to 1 10 being the worst one being the best i'm just randomly picking these up and mentioning them okay so all right the ninth product that i think is like you know top quality from the drugstore is maybelline new york eye studio gel eyeliner in blackest black um, this is like a holy grail. I have used, I want to see if I can get this to focus on camera. How much of this I've used. Uh, I don't know if you can really see in there. Like, I need a new one bad. I have hit, hit pan. I've hit glass, honey. There's enough in there for, you know, I still got a little bit in there. But I need a new one because I've used this like you would not believe. 
<clears throat> so if that tells you anything, I just, this is a perfect gel eyeliner for me. It glides on so easily. That gives you no trouble. It doesn't smear. It lasts all day. It is black. I mean, like, black as black gets. Black as black. You know, that tells, that says it all right there. Wonderful, wonderful eyeliner. And then the last product that I think is a must-have from the drugstore um, is the Wet n' Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipsticks. No certain color. Um, my favorite is, um, what is my favorite? Rebel Rose, that's what it is. My favorite one is Rebel Rose and Nudist Peach, but they're all beautiful. And this is a great formula for a drugstore liquid lip. Um, you know, earlier, I was watching a video earlier, um, and they were talking about most drugstore liquid lips are like a whipped formula um, for the most part. And I do agree with that because I have tried a liquid lip from about every brand, you know, like in Walmart, we'll just say, go in there and get a lipstick from every makeup brand like that. And they are like none of them. I just don't like them. But now when Lip Wet n Wild come out with these and I tried these, I was like, wow. They're a little bit of a thinner formula than some of the high-end liquid lipsticks, but once you put them on and they dry down, they're there to stay. They are not going nowhere, honey. So, in my opinion, yes, if you are looking for a good drugstore liquid lipsticks, go with the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Lipsticks. So, okay, that was my top 10 drugstore must-haves. Why is that so hard for me to say? Duh. Do you agree with these products? What are your top 10? What are your favorite drugstore products? You know, what are your holy grail products? Um, let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to know if any of you guys agree with me on these products. You know, or any of these like your absolute, I gotta have that, I can't live without it type um, products. So if you're a beginner, you know, and you're looking for a good, make, start, how to start a good makeup collection, Check out the products that I just mentioned. They are absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Best a drugstore makes, in my opinion. In my opinion. So, if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked this video. And if so, don't forget to hit that like button and click subscribe before you leave. That way you can be notified of future videos. As of now, I post videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And sometimes I sneak a third one in. Um, but big changes are coming. I'm going to have a new schedule. I think it's something you guys are really, really, really going to like and enjoy. So, I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!